Dear friends in Jesus Christ, today is the 23rd Sunday in Ordinary Time, and we reflect upon the Gospel passage from St. Mark, chapter 7, verses 31 to 37. It is about Jesus healing a man who was deaf and who also had a speech impediment. And the catch word from today's gospel for our reflection is the Aramaic word a father or be opened. But one may wonder why this word is so significant, be opened. Are we deaf? Are we not able to hear? We are not deaf. But still, this word is very significant for us. Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI tells us as he was reflecting upon this passage. There are two significances that this Aramaic word has for us. First one is, it is about an action done by God through Jesus Christ. Secondly, it invites us to take certain action, what we are called to do. Let's go into details. The first meaning what God does. For to understand that, let's go back to the gospel passage itself. Jesus taking the man aside, looking up to heaven, he sighed and said to the man, Yet Father, be opened. Note that while Jesus was addressing the word immediately to the deaf man, but Jesus' attention was not on the man as such, but his eyes were set on heaven. And Pope Benedict, Benedict says, Jesus is not only opening up the man, but he is petitioning the Father to open up heavens, which happens through the death and resurrection of Jesus. Thus, this little word, he continues, Epfata, be opened, sums up Christ's entire mission. He became man so that man, made inwardly deaf and dumb by sin, would become able to hear the word of God again. So it is about an action done by God. Jesus is doing something for us. At the end of the gospel passage, we hear the people acclaiming, he has done all things well. William Barclay, the famous Bible commentator, says, This was the verdict of God about creation, the beginning, in the book of Genesis. And therefore, when Jesus heals somebody, their soul, when he heals somebody physically, and when the people acclaim that he has done everything well, it points to the fact that Jesus has done again, begun the work of creation of all things again, a new creation. Therefore, the word Father should make our hearts arise, rise in, to God in gratitude for what God has done and is still doing for us. Secondly, as we said, the word Epfata refers to or indicates an action we are expected to do. Now look at the words again. Looking up to heaven, Jesus sighed and said to the man, Be opened. Epfata. The word Epfata, was it a command to the ears of the man to be opened? No. The command was to him. Jesus said to him. So it is not the ears of the man that should be opened, but the person should open himself up to Jesus, up to God. And that's why again Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI says, there is an inner closing which covers the deepest core of the person, what the Bible calls the heart. That is what Jesus came to. So we need to open our hearts. That is what Jesus is inviting us to do. So today's miracle is not just about a physical healing. 
but it is about a deeper opening of the person himself or herself to God. What Jesus is telling to everyone, Epfata, be open to the voice of God. Be open to the world and its conditions. Be open to the cry of the poor and the needy. Be open to the voice of others, even of those who disagree with us. So we have to be open. And in this action, in this opening up, the first question we should ask, what are we expected to do so that God can open our hearts? What should we do? Again, let's go back to the passage. Jesus was not simply telling the man, Epfata, be opened. Before that, Jesus does something. He takes the man aside, away from the crowd, as if it was a crowd that was making him deaf, or it was a crowd that was keeping him deaf. Possibly both. Jesus knew the man could not be healed when he was in the crowd. Too much noises will make anybody deaf. They cannot hear the word of God. They cannot hear the sound of God anymore. Is not the world already deafening many people, especially the youth, that they cannot hear the word of God? Remember, in St. John's Gospel, Jesus says, My sheep will hear my voice and they will follow me. But think of how many voices we hear all around. There is not just one voice. So many voices around us so we cannot distinguish the voice of God. And therefore we cannot open our hearts because we cannot hear. For many of us, many of the people, it is easy to open themselves up to the world, up to the science, up to what they can see, but not to open themselves up to what is beyond their eyes. So, so many voices around us which defends us, which keeps us from away from hearing the voice of God. The voice of the TV, of radio, of internet, of music, of WhatsApp, and you name WhatsApp, whatever, of our jobs, our professions, too many voices and we have become deaf. What we need to do is move away from the crowd, from these deafening noises. And we think we cannot do that. We cannot switch them off even for an hour because we feel we cannot live without them. Jesus tells, come away, come aside from these noises and then be opened. We will be able to hear God's voice. And the second question we should ask ourselves, what happens if we open our ears, open our hearts to God? If we hear the voice of God, what happens? And that's what we have the right example in the gospel. When Jesus told the man, Epfata, be open, St. Mark says, and his ears were open, his tongue was released and he spoke plainly. When our ears are open, when we hear the voice of God, we will begin to speak. Of course, we know the people who are deaf cannot articulate their speech properly because we begin or we learn to speak by hearing what others say. When we cannot hear, we cannot articulate our speech properly. That's why Mark says, this man had an impediment in his speech. So, when the man began to, was able to hear what Jesus said, he began to speak clearly. It will happen to us. When we hear the word of God, the voice of God within, within us, we will bear witness to it why the church is not able to speak, to bear witness convincingly, because we fail to listen. So, 
when we are able to listen, we become witnesses. We continue the, mis the mission of Jesus, for which Jesus came to fulfill. And we hear Jesus telling the people, do not tell it anyone else. And what did the people do? They began proclaiming it all the more zealously. One who has heard the word of God, one who has experienced the power of God, cannot remain silent. In the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 17, verse 6, the Pharisees are complaining about the Apostles to the authorities, saying, these men have turned the whole world upside down. True. They cannot speak, they cannot keep quiet because they have heard the word of God. So dear friends in Jesus Christ, we are invited to keep ourselves away from the voices of the world for some time, every day, so that we hear the voice of God. We open our hearts for him and then we will become true witnesses of God's voice, of God's word in our hearts. Jesus wants and he can come near to us, touch us, heal us, open us, provided we cooperate with him. Are we willing to cooperate with him? To close all other noises, voices for some time? And moreover, if we are earnestly waiting for the Lord all through our lives, setting aside particular time, for him every day. Do not feel disheartened. Let's wait continuously with hope until the Lord visits us in our decapolises. He will come surely, as the first reading says. Do not fear or fearful hearts. Be strong. The Lord will come and save you. May the Lord open our hearts and our minds so that we may hear his voice and bear witness to it. May the Lord bless all of us.